Similar to the question before on what advice you would give to young individuals with a passion for business and finance, what would you say is the best possible way for someone to expose themselves and expand their understanding of working in the business world which, without actually currently being involved in it? And how can I maximize um, my potential value to a corporation in the future by what I do right now? Well, that's a, a good question. There's so many of you now who want to be rich by going into finance. And of course, that, that multitude is not going to all get rich. And, and of course, 99% will be in the bottom 99%. That's just the way it's going to work. If I look at the people in my generation who were the nerds who were patient and rational eventually did well, who lived within their income and, and worked at being sensible and, and when they saw an opportunity, grabbed it pretty fiercely and so forth. And I think that'll work for the new nerds of the world. And the people who get ahead because they're star salesmen or charismatic personalities, I'm not one of those, so I don't know how to do that. So if you're not a nerd, I can't help you. And, and I think that the odds are that most people who try to do finance are not going to succeed. And, and there's a lot of wretched excess in it because easy money will always attract wretched excess. It's just the nature. It's like a bunch of animals feeding on a carcass in Africa. By the way, that's an image I chose on purpose. And, but no, no, so I don't think it's so pretty. And I don't think that modern finance is so wonderful. And in my day, a lot of the finance people were more like engineers. They were so chastened by the Great Depression and all the wretched failure that they really tried to make everything super safe. And it was a very different plodding place that just tried, the people weren't trying to get rich, they were trying to be safe. This modern world is radically different. And, and I'm not sure if I were starting out in your world, in your world, how well I would do. It would be a lot harder than it was to get ahead in the world the way it was when I came up. How are you? My best advance, I think you'll be happier if you reduce your expectations than if you try and satisfy them. And by the way, I think that's generally a very good idea. It sounds silly, but it's so obvious. You know how many of us are fairly content with pretty moderate success? That is worth knowing, because that's what most of us are going to get.